After two and a half years in jail, he is gaunt and thin, his cheekbones prominent, his face pale and drawn. But Alexei Navalny is still smiling, his manner relaxed as he waited for the verdict that he said would be Stalinist, and it was. 19 years in a special regime colony, a spot for the very worst offenders, harsher still than the prison where this trial is happening and where he's spent long spells in solitary confinement. One of his associates jailed for eight years too. Journalists were kept in a separate room. His parents too blocked last minute from being allowed into the courtroom to see their son in the flesh. His wife and children no longer in Russia. The regime that deems necessary to dole out such ridiculous sentences, 19 years is more than many murderers get. And Navalny got his 19 years just for words and for political work. I think this regime uh, is not confident in its legitimacy and in its stability. Navalny first came to prominence in late 2011 as one of the leaders in the so-called Bolotnaya protests, when tens of thousands came to the streets in Moscow to protest election fraud. Over the next few years, he faced a seemingly endless succession of arrests, court appearances and periods in detention. But he kept calling for protest, managing to rally tens of thousands in cities across Russia behind his anti-corruption message. In August 2020, though, everything changed. He was poisoned with the military-grade nerve agent Novichok and transferred to Germany for treatment. The following January, he flew back to Russia and was detained at the airport and promptly jailed for parole violation. The man who famously cannot bring himself to speak Navalny's name held a Security Council meeting today focusing on internal threats. It is clear that Navalny will not see freedom while Putin remains in power. But in a tweet released via his lawyers, Navalny called on the Russian people to stand up and resist in any way they can. The sentencing figure is not for me, it is for you, he told them. You, not me, are being frightened and deprived of the will to resist. Putin must not achieve his goal. Do not lose the will to resist. Hugs for his lawyers, who fought so hard if in vain. Now they must prepare for a new case too, the next on terrorism charges. Anna Magne, Sky News.